There are three areas for research in education for the future in developing countries. The first one is schools produce a large diversity of skills, uh, what we call cognitive skills that basically are measured by test scores and exams. There is another variety of skills like discipline, like capacity to uh, solve problems, other type of skills that we call socio-emotional skills that are important. And one area for research in developing countries is how institutions, schools, are producing these uh, other type of skills. The second focus is um, there is this idea that developing countries are increasing enrollment, but quality is flat or very bad. The system is receiving new individuals that usually come from low-income uh, households that, because of this correlation, have lower endowment of cognitive and socio-emotional skills. And we need to teach teachers of how to deal with this difference in skills if, of individuals. A third idea that I think is going to be very important in the policy debate in education is this tension between the incentive system and uh, the outcomes on, of individuals. There are several programs that try to attach the incentives and payment to teachers to the final outcome of production of cognitive skills of, of students. We have evidence coming from developing countries that actually these programs work in some cases, in others not, but for sure the incentives trigger certain behaviors in teachers. Sometimes the, the behavior that uh, triggers are not the ones that we want. Uh, for instance, uh, teaching to the test. The second point is that a lot of the data that develop, developing countries have is data that is not suitable to the problem at hand. And that makes these uh, programs uh, very challenging. We need to put a special attention in the flow of new teachers in the teachers that are entering the education system. When you change the type of people who are applying to programs, and when you change the type of training that the future teachers are going to receive, you will have a very large impact in the future of the system. So in conclusion, we know that there are some policies from the demand side affecting families and students that can trigger important change in the supply side, meaning the school and education system. If we can start acting in these policies, for instance, early child education and changes in the family in the way they care about kids that are in the first stage of their life, that can have a huge impact in the future of the education system.